Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie. We are live once again with Massively Overpowered OP TV, and this is the open beta of Sinks. So, what is this game? <laughs> it's a, it's an interestingly titled one, that's for sure. Um, but it's kind of like a looter shooter roguelite kind of a thing. Uh, it comes from, uh, I believe, a Next Studios developer. Uh, Level Infinite and NetEase are the publishers, if I recall. Um, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is, it's, it's, it looks like it's a, a rehash of something, but it also kind of feels a little bit different too. Uh, it's kind of hard to pin down. Now I've only played long enough to get through the tutorial, primarily to be sure that I could, you know, actually, actually run this thing. Uh, it turns out I can, yay. Um, and I have to say, I've, I've not had a whole lot of time, but, you know, initial impressions were pretty strong, I've got to admit. Uh, so, this is an open beta test. It is a limited time right now, running until, I believe, January the 15th is when it'll be an open beta. Um, so, with, uh, with that in mind, my usual little asterisks and caveats kind of apply whenever I play games of this kind, for one. Uh, it's, a, it's still a beta product, so things are subject to change, you know, things are always going to be different. It's possible that uh, what's here now is, you know, could be totally different from what happens when this game does decide to release, whenever that may be. And second, uh, this is hardly time enough to get a review, or barely enough time to get any sort of first impressions. Uh, but, uh, you know, I am curious to see what it's like and I'll be kind of reacting live as I go and uh you know being Sunday it's sure why not Sunday right <laughs> it's that seems to be my kind of uh modus operandi for Sunday streams nine times out of ten uh well 50 percent of the time I guess anyway 50 percent of the time it happens 100 percent of the time right so I haven't gone through the tutorial segment um Actually, let me kind of walk through a little bit of what I've seen so far. So, so this game is set in a post-apocalyptic future. Surprise, surprise. But this time it's not about zombies or, or nuclear stuff or anything like that. There has uh, been an outbreak of, like, rogue nanomachines of some kind or nanobots. Um, however, your character that you select is able to sync, hence the title, I guess, with uh, a, a nanobot and kind of like take it over and, and, and have it come along as a buddy. So this game has like individual characters, but they're basically classes slash play styles. Near as I can tell, the guy who, might start, who you start with dead cut is like your jack of all trades dude. Um, I believe this character, Glory, considering her equipment, is your sniper. And then this Dr. Stone individual would be presumably your healer. Um... We also have we also have this person. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that that nanobot thing was one of the the creators that we have to deal with. Um, so yeah, that seems like pure DPS. Talk about pure DPS! Oh dang! Oh, 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 oh sh! Oh, I like that one. That was good. That was also a very, very heavy weapon that they were wielding. And lastly, Layla. Ah, your ninja character. Yes. When things go completely wrong, you want to... The first thing you want to do in a post-apocalypse is turn into an absolute weeb. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but then you've also got your choice of four different... Uh, companion nanos. So the game started off with this crusher boy. Big stompy dude. Does a whole lot of smashy. I am trying out the suppressor character. Uh, it's kind of like a ranged DPS as far as I can tell. Guardian is your shield tank bearer person. And Seer, I guess, is kind of like your control character? Although they have a powerful laser beam apparently as well. So, but we're going to try that out. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some roguelike elements to it insofar as like uh, I believe, like, what happens in missions is different each time. There's some uh, stuff you can pick up off of the ground and spend it at pods that are scattered around a map, a mission map, to sort of... Uh, that you can just sort of 
like spend on little buffs but uh at this point i think it's best to just sort of see what's going on so so let's see the dead sectors regions crawling with nanos and totally infected by the surge when a new tyrant moves in they whip up surge storms that put haven at risk so someone needs to go in there and kill the tyrant. That sound like you? Good. Now, surge storms are no joke. And if you want to survive in one, you've got to work fast. Your surge meter will warn you when the concentration gets too high. When it hits 100, you'll be putting your health at risk. So if you want to make it back alive, don't let that happen. For your first run, we'll be dropping you in an area riddled with surge formations. They might look like solid rock, but these are actually complex structures made from surge itself. Pop down your scarab so we can triangulate the tyrant, tyrant, then do whatever it takes to destroy the formation. But be ready. The formation will generate every nano it can to stop you. Nothing out there goes down without a fight. The one piece of good news is that the heavy surge activity means lots of radia for the exchanges. They can be a little finicky, but you should be able to get geared up enough to have a fighting chance against the tyrant. And, if you make it out, you can keep any Nerva you find. Alright, well that's the score. Simple, really. Clean up the surge, find the tyrant, kill it. Think you can handle that? Good. And there you go. Get ready, runner. You're going in. That's that's the beats, basically. All right, so we've got this boy to take down. It looks like. All right, and immediately I have been matched with two extremely high level characters. Cool. So uh, it's time. It's carry time. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Kind of weird that there's like two dead cuts. They like literally look exactly the same. That's kind of odd, but that's okay. It's fine. Whee! Off in our little bucket truck. Okay, so. Yeah, it's, uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, like I said, it, I only played the tutorial. Um, my initial impressions were pretty strong. The shooting feels really good. Like, like the movement and shooting, it all feels pretty nice. Look, it's in the air. Surges everywhere, but your radar can point you towards the most corrupted uh, let's regions. Let's see. Follow its readings to find the hot zones and take down the Locust Nano to clear the area. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, so, uh... It's basically a, it's just run and gun and kind of uh, solo. Like the animations are really, really clean. The shooting action feels pretty good. And I have this game on low setting, but even on low setting, I I gotta admit it's it doesn't look bad at all by any stretch. Like it's it's very nice. It's a nice looking game. Oh, want to pick those up? Oh, I know. Oh, Whee. All right, let's see. Uh, yep, here we go. There's our storm thingy, our surge. The surge thing we got to deal with. Good stuff. Hey, happy, happy 2023. Hey, happy new year to you as well. Willard, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome in, friend. I uh, hope you had a great holiday. 
And thanks for stopping in. Always wonderful to see you, friend. All right, let's see what we got to purchase here, if anything. Oh, wait, I don't have any radio. Dang. That's fine. All right, here's another storm. Yeah, pick up the shinies. So keep an eye out for an exchange. All right. As much as I would like to turn back around and go to an exchange in order to get myself up a little upgrade, but I, oh, there, there's one right here. I was gonna say I probably want to keep to my. Let's do with that. All right. So max HP for my my friend. Stop it is to put down the tyrant, so work fast. My man's is running. Ooh, hey, look at that. Ammo. What do we got here? Oh, so my armor? Yeah, I'll take that. But the things they left behind can help you stay standing where they fell. Don't let them go to waste. Okay, so I got my ammo up. Higher power. I gotta keep up with my partner here. They're just absolutely running pell-mell. Aw, oh, crap. Okay, there we go. Just finished bingoing, or binging, beg your pardon, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Extended versions. I need something different. What are you playing? This is Synced. Uh, it is a sci-fi looter shooter thing. Um, currently trying to keep up with this partner of mine who is an absolute beast in terms of level. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Gonna be left behind a little bit, but that's all right. Let's see what we got here. Close talker. Shotgun, I believe. You know what? Alright, I should I'm taking too long to look at the goodies. Whoop. There we go. All right. Ooh, what's this then? Armor. Cool. Let's see, what can I get from here? Ah, all right. That works. I'll take that. Yep, this way. This way. I'm gonna follow the 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 shiny line here. Early access game looks like some frame rate issues. Ah, uh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, hang on a second here. Yeah, I am seeing some drop frames alerts. I'm sorry about that. The game is running in potato mode, so, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm doing my best. I apologize. Sorry if this is hard to watch. It's not dropping on my end, but if the broadcast is dropping, then that's... I'm sorry. Still a fault of mine. And now I'm way behind. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, now, it's actually... This is an open beta, um, actually. It's it's not early access yet. It is actually an open beta. Oop, hi there. Check your radar and follow the signal. Ooh. 
I'll take that. Okay. So this away. And the surge difficulty is hitting 50% now, so we gotta move. Let's see what this big fella is all about. This big old thing that I got. This uh this looks like a heavy machine gun. Get some ammo real quick. There we go. Oh. Ooh, I like the noise that thing makes. Like, honestly, the, like I said before, oof, ow, I walked into that like an absolute goon. Come on, back in the game. Uh, the shooting action feels pretty good, and I, I do like the sound of this gun. Like, that was, uh, that was very nasty sounding. Like, <laughs> I can sound it appropriately heavy. Okay, this is where we need to be. All right. Oh wait, that's our friend. Perfect. Tracking protocol is going to take some time. Stay sharp, runner. Every nano in the region is going to be coming for you now. Hold them off, and whatever you do, do not leave the area. The one thing I will say that, like, find, determining who's foe and who's friend. Ow. Ow. Alright. Alright. When I've got. Got some new coordinates for you. Stand by, we'll get you over there now. Uh, but yeah, uh, when you summon friend nanobots it's hard to really kind of like pick them out <laughs> so i'm pretty sure i was opening fire on on friendlies just there for a little bit yay we did it or well i was there for it i didn't do really anything other than die a couple of times yay i was mediocre at best possibly All right, level two of this whole thing. I didn't know that the missions had like multiple levels. That's that's interesting. All right, this is actually like my first full mission. So, all right, here we go. Let's roll them bones, shall we? The extracted data will help narrow down the location of the tyrant, but I need more to go on. Let's get you closer, then you can track down another formation. Alright, let's Your see. Your will help you keep track of what mods you have and which ones are currently equipped. It's all about working with what you've got to find the loadout that works for you and your nano. Alright. I did pick up a couple of mods, but I don't really have a lot of time to look into my inventory. Like, everybody's absolutely running breakneck, which I was kind of worried was going to be a thing, right? Like, I was pretty sure that I was going to be left in the dirt. Especially since this game has been in an open beta for a little while now, actually. Um, I feel, I think it started its test... Ow? Again with the explosives? People just setting off gas tanks like absolute goons. Man, alright. All about that collateral damage, eh? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Alright. 
So, a uh, little bit of a problem with people not checking their fire, but that's all right. <laughs> Probably. Is that a... what is this? Up here, no? Not the, oh, bit of a seize up there, but that's fine. It. Uh, armor, yep. Oh, I have... Oh, 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 alright, okay. I don't know what just happened there, but sure. Well, this is going badly. I think this might be my actual first full death. There we go. a little tight, but overall, that went okay. So this is not PUBG with sci-fi. <laughs> I mean, PUBG insofar as, like, I had to crawl around and wait for somebody to pick me up, but yeah, sure. I mean, there is a parallel there. But <laughs> that's about where it ends. What the heck was that? What was that? Alright, 25% surge thingy. 25% <laughs> soda. <laughs> Get it, surge? Ha 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 This gun is good, but it also has, like, the world's tiniest magazine. That's me. I always tell my team, leave me. Because <laughs> in a few seconds, we'll all travel back in time. There you go. Hear bad things. Well, let's head over this way because I believe that's where our next surge is at. Oh boy! Whoa! You know what? I probably should put out a big whoa! Hi there! Hello! Ow! Oh, he slapped the heck out of me. Oof. You got me on the ropes. <laughs> Can't wait to hop in just waiting on the download. Lunch break. Ah, yeah. This is a very interesting game, genuinely. It's... I'm just not very particularly good at it. Surprise, surprise. Right? Do I have a health pack? Yes, I do. Okay. Ah, thank you. Yes, I don't know why the alert didn't go off, but Nomax Slicer, thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome. Just by luck. Thank you very much for stopping in. I apologize I didn't see your alert there. don't know why I didn't see your alert. 
Woof. Well, this thing is wildly inaccurate. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on a second. There's a tree in the way. Haha. <laughs> Lol. Lamau even. Reloading. Okay. What the heck was that? Oh! You can like... You can like just click... R Interesting. Really? Does that happen with all the weapons then? Hang on a minute. Yes, it does. Cool. I genuinely, this is the first time that I knew that there was like a first person mode. Feeling bad. Really bad FPS and streaming issues could be my connection. No, I'm pretty sure it's mine. It's well, I have had some drop frames. Nothing recently, though. So there's like a first person mode, and then there's like an over the shoulder version, or a little more spatial awareness. Ow. Oh, well, there we go, damn. Pretty much got wiped out, and I'm left behind, so I will resign. I know it's mine if it's lagging or etc. My internet is crap. Ah, fair enough. I like the third over the shoulder, but yeah, yeah, I think I prefer that too, honestly. Like, the first person I can appreciate for if you're using a sniper rifle like this individual is. But, uh... Oof. I wonder if the... F I, I don't... I, I doubt it somehow but i wonder if the fact that i was paired with higher level players means like the enemies are harder i don't think that's the case i just think i suck uh, but uh i don't know i'm curious first person would improve frame rates but uh fes but i prefer third person as well yeah like there's so much stuff happening around like i'm not surprised that that uh I would definitely want to stay in third person, too. All right, let me get out of the, these people's way so I can stop being a load. And see if I can maybe try again. That was all I was was a bloody anchor. <laughs> but then again, this is like the very first time I've played this game, so I can't be too hard on myself. And hey, I still got goodies, so not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. I am not above a... Uh, I am not above a participation trophy. <laughs> ah, yeah, good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the coffee. Hope the, uh, hope the work coffee isn't too awful. Is there an option to play mission solo to learn the ropes, or are you always automatically match made into a squad? That's a great question. If there is a way to do it solo, I'm not aware. Back in one piece. Not too shabby, runner. Come see me when you get a chance. We have also, to you have a badass-looking character. It's cool to watch him. Yeah, he's a. I love this dude's whole like deal. Like he looks cool. He looks extremely cool. I don't know why my. All right, so I was trying to. Trying to hit my my summon the boy button. Yeah, the summon the boy button is correct. So I don't know why I wasn't able to summon the friend. I couldn't I couldn't summon the friend. Oh well, I'll try it again. Also, hey there, Ramble. oh yeah, Let's get hey Ramble Ramble, hey Caraway. I love her name, Caraway. That's a great name. Good news, you've got some tech that can really help you out. The Morpheus chip may have brought about the apocalypse, but it's still a marvel of cybernetic power. And using those chips you found out there, you can make yours even more powerful. 
Here, let's see what you're working with. Well, the legitimately the character design in the game is actually really cool. All right, so what do we got here? Runner mods enhance your combat abilities and increase your power level. PVE mods can be powered up by sacrificing a mod with a higher power level. And create unique setups for PvP and PvE. PvEP mod power is normalized for fair play, so there's no upgrades available. Makes sense. Ah, okay. So, let's see. Killing nanos regenerates ammo? I like that. That sounds nice. Oh, I had to hold down the button, right? Okay, got it. Okay, all right. Got it, got it, got it. Reload to unload. Boost critical damage for five seconds after reloading. <laughs> Neat. Can I equip something here? Oh, yeah. Let's see, what do we got? Help me help you. <laughs> I do love the names of these mods. That's really neat. Killing primes increases your companion's chances of dealing critical damage. Weak point kills might spot a medkit. <laughs> might. That's interesting. Can I power this one up? Nope, I can't. I can use this to power up, or, or not. No, I don't have this is the right same kind, or I don't. Crash landing. Your companion deals increased damage for five seconds after it's deployed. Neat. Okay. All right. I'm starting to get into this here. That's cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So my PVE power is now 407. You're feeling a difference for sure. We'll see. The Meridian's a straight treasure trove for gearheads looking to upgrade their Morpheus chips. So poke around, keep your eyes peeled, and you'll get a little stronger every day. And of course, Haven provides for our runners. Have a look around. Check out the services my people are offering. I just know you'll find something you like. All right. <laughs> look around, it says, aiming me directly to this dude. Hey, how you doing? DC, been working. What's up, dude? Glad we can finally have a little confab here, you and me. Confab? And I'm in charge of firepower here in Haven. Looking for guns or gun-related accessories? So, what can I do for you right now? Admire your beard. <laughs> Sorry. There are many different weapons in the arsenal. Set up your loadout to suit your playstyle. Use your weapons and matches to improve proficiency and unlock new attachments. Oh, cool. Customize your weapon with unique attachments and weapon skins that fit your style. Nice. All right. So I have a red dot sight for this thing, which will presumably increase its accuracy. I don't really have anything else. Let's see. Can I change my secondary? No, it's always going to be a pistol, isn't it? Dude, look at this thing. Oy, that is a hand cannon and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work too hard. Okay. The man with a wicked pack of cards. What kind of trouble you looking for today? Okay, let me see. Is there a way that I can make this solo only? Let's see. Doesn't look like there is. Recommended power 1000. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Of course not. <laughs> Can't be bothered to do that much balancing. <laughs> right? That's really challenging to do, man, you know? All right, let me see if is there any Pick your poison. <laughs> Elite run. <laughs> no. Better stuff lower levels with those who've been in for weeks, right? Yeah, I tell you what. And watch them get left behind trying to warn or learn the dang ropes. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I I I get it. Totally understand. Believe me. 
Yeah, my my power is only 407. It's saying I'm recommended for 1,000. I'll give it another Very shot. Good. Why not? Let's go. Whatever. The dead sectors. Regions totally infested with surge activity and crawling with nano. And at the heart of every run, a tyrant. These powerful nanos and the surge they spread on threat to hate. Because <laughs> if not in on day one, you're trash. Yeah. Yeah. Right on, runner. The meridian awaits. Yeah, I understand. It's it's annoying, but I'll do my best. It's weird that like it's telling me that I need a power of one thousand, but the stuff that I was able to get only got me to four hundred? That's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. All right, I'm gonna try to hang. I'm I'm gonna try to keep pace ish, but I'm also not gonna like. <laughs> I'm not gonna like get get full on in there. But yeah, that 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 uh the matchmaking clearly needs to be worked on. That's that's the first thing. The the uh the fact that I'm being matched up with people who are literally 20, 30 levels above me problem. <laughs> problem. Big problem. Wait, did we Drop in on something that was already in, in in action. Is that why? What? Or not? No, I I, I was I'm sorry. I was thrown off by that that alert. That was kind of weird. I hear. Oh, there's a couple of them over here. Wow. Oof. Oh, good. There's no fall damage, as far as I can tell. Okay, let's go over to this one then. Wow, the th the range on this thing is actually pretty good. It's it's better. It seems to be a better pulse though. Like that's it's it's far steadier when I pulse it. Yeah. All right. That was good. Okay. Hang on a second. Are there any goodies? Medkit? Oh, I, I'm full of medkits. Okay. Armor? Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. Alright. And even when I tried to get into it with Dark Tide, I just can't imagine losing my time to running another L40 wannabe. <laughs> or Left for Dead, I'm sorry. L4D, oh. yeah. L40. Another level 40. Reloading. It's also funny that, like, enemies spawn at me. Like, like there's the answer for me not feeling left behind. Spawn enemies at my feet. Like, like that's weird. You've got enough radio for a new mod, so keep an eye out for an exchange. Another very odd design choice, if I gotta be honest. Oh, that's why I wasn't able to summon the friend. I wasn't able to collect any radia. That's what's going on. Yellow, let's go. Okay, here's another surge. Falling behind, here's some mana. <laughs> here's some mana to shoot at to keep things fresh slash keep you from falling behind. <laughs> or continue to keep you falling behind. Yeah. Gotta reload. Bonk! Ah. 
Give me. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we got anything. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. I'll take that. So far, so good. Uh, another surge in this general direction. This person is climbing this roof. I'm curious why. Do they know something I don't? Ah, goodies. That's what. Alright, let's go. Whee. I love how strong my character's ankles are. <laughs> Happy camper. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. I'll try that. Right, sure. Then. Armor, med kit, or... Oh, oh, I can't buy that. Oh, this thing rips. It is also wildly inaccurate, but it rips. That was uh, pretty nasty. Yoink. You know what? If I'm gonna be left behind, I'll just keep on going at my own pace. There we go. That's how you. That's that's the solution. <laughs> This is more like Destiny slash Warframe, not a survival game. Nope, it's definitely, yeah, it's it's way more like a Warframe slash, um... Gosh, I forget the name of the game that was like a, uh, Descent or something. Not, not Descent, no, 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 it's, I... I forget the name of it, but, like, it was similar insofar as, like, it was a third-person shooter, and, like, you just sort of, like, went from level to level... No, not Division. It wasn't like the Division. Though I... Though there is some, like, certainly some uh, UI visual cues that were very much like Division. Actually, my best friend, Britannia, when she first noticed me putting this game online, she was like, oh, you're playing the Division? <laughs> so, I understand where... Defiance? No, it wasn't Defiance either. Um, Darwin Project? No, 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 no. Gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look it up now. Oh hi there. Wow, the clip on this thing is absolutely silly. Like this thing has so much so many bullets. Yes, I'll take that. Striking no. Whee. Uh, where? How did they? Did I just? I guess I'll just go this way. There we go. Bonk. I like Defiance. Pity it didn't get more support and then got the weird reboot that split the whole little player base. What little player base was left? Yeah, that. That was odd. Like, um. The Defiance 2059 or 2959 or something like that? Yeah. That was weird. Whatever. There we go. Gotta reload. Okay, I'm holding my own. Even when I'm out here by myself, I'm holding it. I'm holding it together. Not bad. Not bad. Remnant. That's the name of the game I was talking about. Remnant. Remnant. It's very similar to in feel to Remnant. That's, that's the one I was, th that, that one, that, that's the one. <laughs> I know it was going to get there eventually. The environment reminds me of Just Survive minus the sci-fi, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Hello. Hello. I 
The enemy at this at this opening mission does leave a little bit to be desired. They're just kind of like standing there glowering at me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it to where they are, but that's fine. Oh, I guess everything gets locked down when a surge is opened up, presumably. Oh wait, maybe I will make it. Hang on. Am I going to be able to play with other people? Or am I going to be left by myself? Well, never mind. Ow. Ow. Here we go. Okay, everything fell over because they closed the, the portal. Alright, that's fine. I did it. Get ready. I'm going to get you closer. How do you get a nano? I think I'm supposed to, like, pick up radia, but I never find any. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Defiance was a TV show and a video game. It was both, actually. Yeah, based on the they tried to like make some synergy, like like they were trying to sort of like merge the two. Um, so uh, it was an interesting experiment, and I actually like played the game and watched the show, and both were all right. The show was fine, you know. The game was okay. Just I don't know that neither of those were strong enough together or on their own, for that matter. Extracted data will help narrow down the location of the tyrant, but I need more to go on. Let's get you closer. Then you can track down another formation. It didn't know about the show. Yeah, I I feel like it went for maybe a couple of seasons. Or at least uh, certainly at least one. But um Yeah, that was a. Uh, it was an interesting idea in concept. Execution left something to be desired. My god, the spread of this weapon. Whoosh. Oh, hi. Yeah, like everything produced by sci-fi. <laughs> I mean, where's the lie, though? <laughs> There is definitely no lie lies detected. That's uh that's the real. Yeah, sci-fi. I remember like I remember feeling like the beginning of the end was near when oh, here we go, I can sink a boy. There we go. I have my boy! There it is. There, okay. I found it. I found the boy. All right, so I have my boy, I have my little gun arm, my little Mega Man. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, 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 there's friends. You know what? I should probably get this big thing out. Oh crap. Gotta reload. Come on, but oh ow. 
I got hit by the dookie. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Bring it home, mate. Stargate and Eureka are sci-fi's highlights. I doubt they'll ever be able to top those. You know what my favorite sci-fi show was Hangar 51. Uh, Hangar 41, 51? That, that show was cool. I really, really liked that one. That was a personal favorite. Hangar 42, I think, actually. Now, now, now I'm pondering. Uh, that was an interesting one. It was like, its whole premise was sort of like X-Files-ish, except it had fun with itself, as opposed to trying to be super, super serious. Which I appreciate. These flinger boys. All right, let me get out. Oh, I'm getting rocked. Oh my goodness, man, that grenade though. Gotta reload. Oh, I like this. I like this dude. This is a good one. Never heard of it, we'll look it up. It was really good, yeah. It was Warehouse 42, I think. I'm gonna have to search. Um, but uh you know what? Let me let me do that right now, actually. Hang on a second. Not like anybody in my team is waiting for me, so uh let's just make sure I got the right show. Warehouse 13, that's the name of it. Ow, ow, I'm being killed. It's fine. That's the name of it is Warehouse 13. Oof. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Warehouse 13 was such a great show, dude. I really, really liked it. Alright. Nobody's gonna come and get me, so I might as well just resign. <laughs> Man. Man, I'm just playing by myself while other people are in the team consequentially. That sucks. Allison is super hot. <laughs> yeah. Not wrong. Yeah, that was that was a really fun show. Like I said, it was very much like an X-Files, but it, it enjoyed itself. Like, it was kind of like a... I, I don't know. It's just the whole premise of this whole thing. Where like it's, or maybe less like X Files. I guess X Files like an SCP, but 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 it really like it had a good fun with the concept. Like it was really good. I am playing PVE. <laughs> That's the thing. I legit am playing the PVE. It's just that it's um, the matchmaking is dropping me in with level twenties and level thirties. Like I'm. I'm being left in the dust both in terms of character progress and literally. <laughs> Hello, Hannah. I understand you might have some free time. Yes. You to pay me a visit? Yes, that is exactly what is happening. It's it's a little sad. I like the nano arm appearance. It would be cool if you can get a whole armor suit like that. Yeah, it would be really neat. Um But yeah, that that whole that whole crystalline formation that was on my arm, that just indicated that I had my nano, my little robot friend ready to deploy. Hi there, how you doing? Uh -huh. up to no good if it isn't the runner of the hour. Name's Mel, Mel Cragen. I'm watching my Hey, she wells is a time traveling woman. She's also got hot. <laughs> oh, you know what? Another fun show that was fun that I kind of like I hadn't watched a whole lot of it, but the couple of episodes that I did catch um, was uh, The Librarians. And I, I, it's kind of sad that they didn't weren't able to like keep Nathan Fillion on because he was actually really a fun cast. But um, but that was a that was a cool show too. Like concept was cool. It it reminded me of like like those cheesy 90s action shows like Xena or or Charmed uh, like it had that level of cheese factor to it which I truly enjoy like like it, it knew it was a silly premise and concept but it it enjoyed the hell out of itself anyway like and also like 
the librarians made me feel bad for Excalibur dying. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good trick. <laughs> I watched the first episode and couldn't handle how disrespectfully they handled the books. Oh, that was a book series? Really? What do you mean, like, was the librarians a series of books? Hang on a minute. Really? And I am in charge of data analysis here in Haven. Zena, I had a guilty pleasure watching those cheesy ones too. Yeah, oh, Charmed was my thing. Like, I watched Charmed. Like, that was almost appointment television for me, dude. Nathan Fillion, now we're talking Firefly, one of my favorite shows. Yes. We're talking about television injustices. That's a biggie. Firefly got done dirty so bad. Uh, the characters in the show treating the books in the library. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I haven't seen the librarian. Uh, don't mind my spelling. No, I, no, you're good. No, you're good. No, I, 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 I actually, I, I actually auto-corrected what you typed. So, like, even if you're saying you're dyslexic, uh, I was able to. I picked exactly what up up what you meant. <laughs> All right, uh, vendor jobs. Vendors have jobs and challenges. Complete jobs in the Meridian. Claim your rewards back at Haven. You can only accept a limited number of jobs from each vendor. Take your battles and play your stuff. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty neat. Play your first Dead Sector match. And there were no problems. Good. Uh, sink to a Guardian five times. Eliminate ten Prime Nanos. Wow, that's a, that's a big ask. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of roguelike a little bit. Um... Incidentally, oh, hello. I this old VR unit and converted uh... it into a training system for runners. If you ever need to hone your skills, try it out. Oh, okay. Cool, so I can play with my Oculus in order to train. <laughs> Miss Krause. Wait, is this something I can play by myself? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. No, that's... Are none of these available to me? Uh... Huh. Oh, database. Wait a minute. Take care, then. How's things in the world of if you need nanotech, At least Firefly got Serenity to wrap things up, but that show could easily have gone on for a few more seasons, without question. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's the VR thing, I think. That's the tutorial I played. I don't think that's anything that I can actually, like, kind of, like, get levels off of. Oh, hi there. You have a glowy hell... Uh, Exclamation, no, what's up? Alright, actually, let me check. Oh, yes. New content unlocked, yay. Alright. So that's a... Hang on a second. Let's see if I can power this up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. What do we have here? Friendly fire. Eliminating nanos restores your companion's health. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. Can I power this one up? No. So yeah, so there's there's some good ideas here. There are legitimately some good ideas in this game. The genuinely. Wicked pack of cards. Genuinely some good ideas. It's just some of the execution is falling a bit short for me. Like the the matchmaking is a big one. That is a huge own goal. Like honestly. They 
The fact that like they are not matching up with players of equal skill is both frustrating for the new player and annoying for the high level player. Like, why would anybody who's uh, such a high level want a wasted team slot? Honestly, that's just not smart. And and like the the fastest way you can piss off somebody who's trying your game out is give them nothing but bad experiences from the jump. Like, literally nothing but awful experiences from the very go. That said, as annoying as that is, and that is a big, 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 big problem that, they, that this game needs to uh, surmount, the shooting is really good, like, the mechanics are interesting, and, like, the world has got this sort of unique it's 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 post to pock right but which has been done to all the death but it's also kind of got some unique little spins and i don't know i there's potential here but i'm just super super concerned they're gonna waste it that's my biggest concern right there's there's nothing more frustrating than a game that has potential to just being absolutely wasted by like bad monetization or bad design decisions, or just bad support. You know, that, that's that's annoying. That's frustrating. But it's very cool. It has... I, I would like to see this develop more. I would like to see it evolve. And I truly do wish Next Studios and, and Level Infinite the best of luck, honestly. Um, if any of them do happen to be listening, I, uh, I hope that my words are met to your ears. If nothing else, I'll fill out a survey and kind of provide my thoughts because there is actually a survey option but anyway that is going to be it for today's stream for the time being uh but uh we have more streams coming through the rest of this week as usual um here's hoping fingers crossed that mj is feeling better um she did have to kind of like drop out of her friday and saturday streams like normal because she is not in a uh, particularly good health right now so Hopefully, she is up to the streams that she has scheduled for this week, uh, which is Monday on January the 9th, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, she'll be playing some Elder Scrolls Online. Tuesday, January 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern, she'll be doing her usual Guild Wars 2 stream. And then on Wednesday, January 11th, 2 o'clock Eastern, I will be playing Final Fantasy XIV. If I am a very brave boy, I will try the new raid that's going to be coming out. If I am an absolute coward, I will try playing the gold saucer stuff instead. Um, and then later that same night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be joining MJ for some backseat streaming. So we hope we that everybody tunes in for all of that. And as usual, thank you so very much to everybody for tuning in today, whether you are doing so live or on demand. And as usual, thank you to everybody for all the support you've had massively overpowered, whether you are watching the streams, reading what we have to write on the website, or if you're doing incredibly generous things like donating bits to the channel, subscribing to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, or if you're one of our incredible Patreon supporters, no matter what you do, top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps massively overpowered running. We'll hope to see you tomorrow from CASO. Until then, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time, and best of luck to this one. I really, really want it to do well because it's interesting, but flawed, systemically. Bye!